closer moon come to us Hello again, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Hardcore with Tavernoosh Interplanetary. We've been building a relay network at 250 million meters around Kerbin so that we have a constant connection back to K KSC from anywhere in low to mid Kerbin orbit. We've got two up, we're going to launch two more. However, we're having a bit of a cash flow problem. We've got only 32,000 Kerr bucks left, and each launch that we do is costing us 15. So we could launch our two satellites, but then we'd be dead broke. However, looking at the missions we have active, we can get 52,000 Kerr bucks for just flying by the moon. And then we've also got this mystery goo contract we gotta deal with as well. I think that this ship that we've built for launching the relay satellites, Yarja 1, it's totally capable of flying by the moon. So let's find out. Here it is. Vyarja uh, 5,270 meters per second of delta V. 28 out of 30 parts. Okay. We're going to make a couple of changes here. Because this is not going to be a permanent relay satellite. We're going to pull off these uh, solar panels. And we're going to be reliant instead on our uh, on the power conversion from our engines to keep providing power. We're going to fly by the moon with this probe, and we are going to make no attempt to recover it whatsoever. The bottom stage, however, we are going to try and recover. And on it, we're going to put a mystery goo. And... Parachute. Now we have to pull down our thud engines a little bit so that we're not trying to balance on our parachute. There we go. Just give us the clearance. And we're going to throw a heat shield on right above our separator, right below our separator, so that we can try and see if we can safely deorbit this uh, lower stage and have it survive. We have to rebuild our fairings slightly. Just to make sure that those antennae aren't clipping into it. So I got 5167 delta V. Let's see if we can fly by the moon. So for a lunar flyby, all we're really talking about, it actually should be easier than getting to that 2.5 million perfectly circular orbit we've been doing with our relay satellites. That's about halfway to the moon, but for a flyby, we don't even have to circularize. We're just going to send it on a purely ballistic orbit, and if it passes into the moon's sphere of influence, then that's going to be good enough to trigger our mission, get us our reward, and we'll be able to afford a few more rockets. We've launched those two relay satellites up, and they're just ahead of KSC in their orbit around the around Kerbin right now, which means we should be able to fly on basically any eastward trajectory we want with the ship and maintain communications the whole time. So we're going to try a more aggressive gravity turn than we have been before. All right, all systems are green. Launching in three, two, one, liftoff. I get a little bit of height going straight up. And then we're gonna start gently leaning over to the east. I 
it down to about 10 degrees by 5,000, I would say. Yeah, a little bit more. Now at this point, we're going to start holding prograde. And our ship should naturally start tilting over the rest of the way. We've got so much thrust that we're still probably going to end up on a relatively steep ascent path, but it's still going to be a lot more efficient than what we've been doing before. So we're going to lower the throttle a little bit because we're getting that uh, arrow heat. Or we're getting, okay, now we can cut our throttle entirely. Our apoapsis is above 80 kilometers. We'll coast to space. We'll start a circularization burn. And then once we separate, we're going to point our first stage nose towards the ground, release the parachute, and leave it be. And hopefully, we'll see it safely back to Earth. Well, Kerbin, sorry. Okay, we're going to speed up time slightly here rather than wait the minute and a half. Okay, we're in space. We're going to observe our mystery goo. Good, keep that. We're going to double check, make sure that we've got electric charge on our probe down there. Good, it's going to get refilled as soon as we fire our rockets again. 28 seconds. Papoapsis. Ten, nine, eight, Seven, that's close enough, let's burn. Okay, good. Blow the fairing, separate stages, engine off for a second. We're gonna switch vessels to this guy and we are going to activate the parachute now. Check the parachute's armed. Deploy mode when safe. It's armed. All right, back to our other vessel. We're gonna have to tilt ourselves back up a little bit and burn. Now we've already started descending pretty fast. I hope that we haven't screwed ourselves here. We're tipping down out of space. This might be a problem. I think we may not be going to the moon today, boys and girls. We're gonna point our ship almost straight up now. We're not going to be deorbiting immediately, but we're bird we're wasting a lot of fuel here. We should have started our circularization earlier to prevent this. All right, we're heading back up again. So we can start burning prograde. We haven't wasted too much fuel. Could be worse. Let's take a look at our orbit. Okay. So we're, we're doing pretty good. We're heading up now. Our periapsis is, is uh, in the atmosphere, but we're going to start burning towards the moon well before we start to re-enter again. You can see here we are here. And as soon as the moon starts to become visible over the horizon, when about a quarter of the way around the dark side of Kerbin, that's going to be when we're going to want to start burning. It's going to extend our apoapsis out away from us, and it's going to intersect the lunar orbit 
about 20 degrees ahead of where it is right now. I think we might still have enough fuel to do it. 1300 delta V? Yeah, that should be plenty. Okay, so in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the tracking station and we're going to take control of our first stage and see if we can get it safely back to Kerbin. Hmm. Okay, well, it looks like our first stage has already been deleted. It looks like we left it on too aggressively low of a trajectory. And at this point, it's already considered by the game to be lost. So recovering the first stage and getting our mystery view experiment, that's not going to happen. Let's see if we can still manage our lunar flyby. We had the right idea. We're just cutting things too close, having to switch back and forth between those between those vessels when we were that close to uh, when we were all on that suborbital trajectory. If we've been able to get that first stage into orbit, then we've been able to deorbit it sort of at our leisure. Now, where are we? We're here. Okay, we're going to watch the horizon. We're going to go target prograde. And we're just going to speed up a bit and wait for the moon to appear. Now, this isn't a general rule that you can orbit a body and wait for the moon to appear on the horizon and burn towards it. It's just a convenient uh, coincidence of the orbit and circumference of uh, Kerbin and the Moon. All right, full burn, and we're going to watch our trajectory. We've upgraded our tracking station once, so once it gets out to around the uh, lunar diameter, we'll be able to see when and if we have an intercept. Stop. There we go. That's a flyby. Yep. That should do it, folks. Here we go. For the first time of the career, we're leaving Kerbin's sphere of influence. Kerbin's sphere of influence. Speed up time. Come closer, moon. Come to us. Take a screenshot. For the thumbnail. Now we're in space high over Kerbin still, I believe. Nope, we're in the moon now, over the moon's midlands. But we have no probe control, that's why we can't do a science experiment right now. Are we out of... oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We took off the solar panels, we're out of electricity. We're going to rename VR to one to a probe. It's right now it's defaulting to being a relay because it's got the relay antenna on it. But our, but our uh, contract wants it to be type probe. Hopefully, we should see one stage of our contract complete, so this flight's not a total loss.
Vessel type probe, quick capacity done, fly by the moon, complete. Now we've got no electricity left because we didn't because we took off the solar panels. So there's nothing we can do with this. It's dead to us. It's just gonna float freely as space junk. Until later, much later, we catch up with it and deorbit it. But if we go back to the space center, we're rolling in kerbucks. Ah, oh, that is a nice feeling. That mission was a total shit show, but in this hardcore playthrough where it's all about turning failure into partial success, we're happy with this. Guys, we flew by the moon. See you next time.